not not bad for an investment of two hours a month. Am I right or am I right? This was just six years ago. But above all, Jill said, is the feeling that I have five souls with whom I could share my feelings from complete devastation to overwhelming joy. That's priceless, priceless, end quote. Now, can you believe that? that? See, this is what I'm saying. This is how pivotal and how important and how vital these particular mastermind groups are. Now, the thing is, I'm starting to get in the realm of having these particular mastermind groups. See, this is why I started uh, distancing myself from like pity parties. I'm not going to sit here and talk about how bad a, you know, a specific country is or the uh, let's say the terrorism that's going on over in Europe or this and that. I'm not focusing on that. Human beings are human beings and they'll always be human beings. We can't stop that. Okay, we're not just going to have a huge world that everyone just loves each other. Absolutely not. That's not going to happen. There are six billion plus people, so I'm not focusing on any of that. I'm focusing on changing the lives of others who come through and say, you know what, AJ, I really love your podcast. What can I do to start changing my life today? Step into my office. And that's when accountability partners happen. Instead of, or in addition to being in a mastermind group, you might choose to work with what I call an accountability partner, people. The two of you agree to set goals that each is working toward and agree to talk regularly by phone to hold each other accountable for meetings, deadlines, accomplishing goals, and making progress. Get your accountability partner, okay? Now, this person you have to be very, very close to, right? You can't just... Send a message one day or send a message in the morning. This person responds probably eight hours later. No, you need someone who's basically going to respond within that first hour and you have to hold each other accountable for these specific things. One would be for me, why you? Why? Because me and her are the closest. She's the one that I talk to probably the most during the day because she has so many ideas. She's creating a, creating a website. This is my wonderful Indonesian friend. That's probably who my accountability partner is going to be. Now, you guys are basically going to agree to call each other on times every day, every week, or every other week, right? To make sure you are both following through on your planned actions, that's all. Knowing that you'll be reporting to someone provides the extra motivation to get the job done. Am I right or am I right? This is especially useful I guess you could say useful relationship to develop if you're like a solo entrepreneur such as myself and work from home. Knowing that you'll be talking to your accountability partner tomorrow makes it more likely you'll be productive today. Because guess what? If I'm sitting here and I'm saying, oh boy, here we go. Tomorrow I need to talk to her. I got to give her some real some real important information, man, but I don't have anything. I need to hurry up, get going. Let's go. Hit the ground running. And today, like yesterday, was an unbelievably successful day, especially with my podcast and especially at work and a lot of breakthroughs from top to bottom happened. You can also ask this accountability partner to share ideas, information, contacts, and resources. Why you? Again, my Indonesian friend. I said, hey, do you have anyone that creates a website? She said, yeah, here. I got this guy. She uh, tagged him in a post with me in it. And I messaged him, and he's like, hey, do you have any uh, websites uh, that we can use as a reference? I sent the websites. He gave me a price, and I said, okay, I'm going to get my pictures. I'm going to set up my podcast, and I'm going to send everything to you. He's like, okay. Boom. She just shared a contact with me. You can pitch your partner on your latest idea, such as my podcast and stuff, and she gives me valuable feedback. So I asked her. I was like, hey, what's your opinion as far as having an app store icon or having the picture when my uh, podcast is trying to upload. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh my God, perfect. I know what I'm going to do as far as my, uh, the podcast and, you know, live in Bangkok and, you know, the Arsenio Buck show, this and that, this and that. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Now I need a photographer. Boom. Finally, two days ago, my student messaged me. He's like, hey, okay, let's meet at this time at uh, this shopping center, and then we could go take him. Where do you want to take the pictures? I said, at my condo, there's a wall, a specific wall, where I'm going to be wearing a suit, a suit on this specific day, on a very, very important day, at my job as is, and everything just came right into fruition, all because of having an accountability partner. 
I do have some indirect accountability partners, such as a specific specific person at my job. He always comes in. He says, how's your book? How's your book? How's your book? And I say, oh, well, uh, he's like, mm, 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 mm. that's not what I want to hear. <laughs> you see what I mean? Having those types of accountability partners are excellent. You know, asking them about their opinion. How would they perceive? You know, they might agree on what you're doing and they might not agree, but that's what the feedback is. They might agree to make a call for you, like my accountability partner did. Uh, I told her that I was I needed to I've been sending emails to a specific resort in Bali for my big competition that's coming up in one month. And she's like, Oh man, they're not calling back. Well, that's kind of how Indos are. Here, let me call for you. They'll make a call for you. They'll give you a contact name or email you some information he or she has already collected on that subject. It's important to remember that an accountability call is not a coaching call or a social call, okay? An accountability partner, the, the partnerships work best and last longest when calls are kept short and focused, okay? An accountability partner can also provide enthusiasm when yours is wanting. Because of obstacles, distractions, setbacks, or failures. The key to a successful accountability relationship is choosing someone who is as excited excited about reaching his or her goal as you are about reaching yours. Someone who is committed to your success and theirs. That's what an accountability partner is. Okay, people? So that is the end of this principle. To sum it up, uh, you guys need to figure out a mastermind group. Now, you guys don't all have to be in the same field, okay? You guys got to listen to me closely. You don't have to be in the same field. I'm talking about getting someone who's a – I met someone who writes for a magazine. I'm like, hey, maybe she knows editors. Or I found someone else who's a lawyer. I'm like, hey, I might need to copyright copyright some things uh, in the near future or do this or do that. See, that's – forming a mastermind group. And the thing is, the great thing about this is, I wish I had a mastermind group with the first friends I've ever met here in uh, Thailand. But the thing is, one works for an airline, so she's very busy. She's moving to Qatar. Another one is like a crazy translator in the heart of Bangkok. So the, the the hard part about this is that we all can't get together. And the thing is, we're going in like separate directions. But once you form your mastermind group, this is when everything begins to unfold for you. And I have a mastermind group. I have one friend. And now it's not a group, but it's a friend. And it's good for now. But the thing is, she's also my accountability partner in YU. So find yourself an accountability partner. If you have multiple accountability partners, uh, I'd say just start off with one. Get yourself one person who's going to call and say, okay, so you said you were going to do this, this, and this, and this, and that. And you'd be like, you know what? No, that's not good enough. Come on. What, what, what do you need to do first? Have you written down your plan? That's what I did, especially for my business, my podcast. I wrote down the plan. I wrote podcasts in the middle of a white sheet. And then I said, okay, audience. Okay, who am I targeting? Okay, am I going to make an app store app? Okay, uh, can I connect this to a website? Okay, uh, am I going to make my book in terms of doing this and that? And th- this is all going to come together. You see what I mean? So... Write down your plan. See, this is what the accountability partner is going to do for you. All right. So, everyone, that is the end of this principle, okay? The next principle later on this evening is inquiring within. That's also going to be a two-part principle. And we're going to talk about Mr. Bert Dubin, which is a very, 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 very important story. Guys, we're talking about intuition. Now, my intuition is flawless, okay? But we're going to talk about how you can develop your intuition. That intuition is that thing that tells you, hey, this isn't good. This isn't bad. Now, if you don't have that particular thing, I had to develop my intuition all by myself in Australia. I came here to Thailand on a six-day vacation, uh, and I had to go purely on my intuition when I went to places because there were a lot of dirty looks from a lot of dirty people. Da, 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 da. You see, I developed my intuition by traveling all over the goddamn place. But how can you develop yours? That's what I'm going to be getting into later this evening. With that being said, if you guys want to join the conversation or have any questions, at AJ in Thailand is my Twitter or 
Facebook.com slash The Arsenio Buck Show. Follow me on there for the latest news. And until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.